my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. I have a little secret for you that I'm going to share here, and it's about, because we see practicing as something conscious all the time. We think we have to sit and stare at the fretboard uh, every time we practice because we have to get it right. So we have to use our conscious mind to get it right. And then I advocate something called TV practice, or I call it TV practice, and it's basically just a matter of building a pattern to that point where you can do it unconsciously, right? Where you don't think about it anymore. You can start talking as you do it because you've built it into your nervous system, a little loop of doing something. And you, can, you don't even think about it anymore. It's just, it, it runs at a low level of speed. And then you can start doing it as you talk to people, as you watch TV. That could be called unconscious practicing because the brain is simply running a pattern over and over and over again to the point where you can do it thousands of times without even being present in it, if you will, right? But there's an extra level to that. You can build a spasm into your body that you become so good at because you do it thousands of times each day and you don't even think about it. I've been doing, I came up with a little exercise for myself, training my left hand, um, where I imagined that the thumb would be the fretboard. And then I touch my thumb, one finger at the time, you can try to do it now. And I'm able to do that extremely rapidly because I've been doing it for 30 years without thinking about it. It became a bad habit. Sometimes people say, what are you doing with your hand? Oh, it's the old, I can't, I can't stop it now. So I can't even stop practicing that. It's so automatic, it's built in, that it's just, you know, it, it, it just triggers itself. And you can do the same thing with rhythms. You can practice a rhythm, and I'm going to show you or tell you about how you build that habit. But you can do it with rhythms. You can play some to a Right, if you wanna practice that rhythm and become really good at it. Right? And the, the ability to play something fast just shows me that you can play it much slower and have total control and can relate to the band and everything else as you play it, right? So we want speed. We want to be, be able to do things much faster than we really need to. So we can, you know, entertain people and really be in the music instead of the techniques of the music or the mechanics of music. But so you, you create a pattern of rhythm, da, 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 da. Da, da. and you practice it to the point where you can do it almost unconsciously. And, or it could be a picking exercise like da, 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 the accents, right? Oh, that won't, that won't make me any better at practicing. I promise you it will, because the challenge is picking the string, of course. There's many smaller challenges built in him, but one of the big challenges of picking on one string is synchronization and accents, being able to feel that in your body, right? That people, when people stop, when you can't play any faster, it's often because they lose track of the rhythm. Instead of, it just becomes, right? That's the point where you lose, it's not because you can't go. It's not your ability to pick the string fast, it's simply your ability to, to control it. And you can practice that without your guitar. And there are so many other things you can practice as well, but rhythms, picking exercises, visualizing scale shapes, like matching two scale shapes up against each other, imagining that you go back and forth on two strings. Th those are things you can do as well, but you need to trigger it until it becomes an unconscious habit that you can't stop doing because the brain is so used to it. And the way to do that is simply take your smartphone or any other device you might use, uh, your computer, and then have it remind you every 10th minute. And you can do it on your smartphone. You can simply set an alarm with a snooze of 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And then whenever you look at your phone, you can see that alarm going off and you go, da, 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 da. you start doing that or whatever the habit is that you want to build. Or you start tapping the rhythm, whatever it is. And you put it on snooze. And then you, you do it whenever you can. And you might have a work that allows you to actually have it ring so you can hear it or boss in your pocket. Whatever you can do to remind yourself continuously throughout the day, all the time to do that thing, right? And it can also be, 
you know, I can do this as I'm thinking about other things, as I'm typing, perhaps, or I have to use my fingers here, but as I'm working with the mouse, I can do it. So you have to do it as much as you possibly can over and over and over again. And I'm talking weeks while you remind yourself over and over again. But then it suddenly becomes an unconscious habit and you can't stop doing it. And that's when you have your result already. You know that you're going to become the best in the world at doing this. Or you know that you're going to... That... That triplet feel or whatever it is that you're practicing or, or you know, going back and forth, visualizing scale shapes and playing across the neck, building that freedom of scales and arpeggios, whatever it is, that is automatic now because the brain simply just goes, whenever it's idle, that's where it goes. It becomes your, your brain's screensaver. It just turns it on whenever there's nothing to do. Okay, let's churn that. Let's do the uh or the whatever it is that you, that you build into it. It's how the brain works. Utilize it and get results. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.